ഇൻ ദിസ് കൊറോണ പാൻഡമിക് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ എലോങ് വിത്ത് സെൻറ്റ് ജോസഫ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് കീപ്പ് റിപ്പീറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് കോളിംഗ് ഔട്ട് ദി പവർഫുൾ നെയിം ഓഫ് ജീസസ് ഹി ഹാസ് ദി പവർ ടു ഹീൽ എസ് ഫ്രം സിക്നസ് ഡെലിവർ എസ് ഫ്രം ഓൾ വൈറസസ് happy christmas to all let me start with a story danish philosopher and theologian sorin kirkegaard has a moving story called the king and maiden there was a king while walking through the forest happened to see an ordinary humble maiden the king fell in love with her with her decided to marry her and bring her to the palace the king knew it would be impossible for this village girl to come to the palace and live the luxurious life she won't be comfortable with that life she will never enjoy her life as she was enjoying in her village so the king decided to leave his kingship and all his form and cloth to himself as a beggar in order to win her love and to live with her jesus the king of kings in the same way you know to show his love for the humanity choose a way of revealing his everlasting love left to his heavenly throne and assumed the human form as st paul says in philippians chapter 2 verse 6 to 7 jesus though he was in the form of god did not consider equality with god something to be exploited but he emptied himself taking the form of a slave being born in human likeness christmas is a celebration of this love of god a king left heaven and came to the earth out of his everlasting love for humanity we read in the gospel of luke chapter 2 verse 7 that there was no place for mary and joseph for jesus to be born there is a story circulated among the abba mystics it goes like this on the day when jesus was born joseph said to mary that we are so unfortunate that we could not give the savior of the world to be born in a better place suddenly the baby jesus replied my loving parents don't worry about me i am not born in this manger but i am born in your love your love that is the most beautiful manger where i am so happy to be born first of all we have to understand that this fascinating story conveys a profound message of christmas that christ is not just born merely in the crib but he is born in love in the overwhelming presence of holy love between joseph and mary jesus is born where joseph and mary are united in the bond of love it is true love because joseph had overcome a terrible temptation 
to divorce Mary but by the intervention of God he overcame that temptation and accepted Mary as his wife and loved her Jesus is born in the that unity of love between husband and wife Mary and Joseph it is the birth of Jesus into that unity of love that made an ordinary family into a holy family when we look into the inauguration of the first family in the world history we see god is gifting eve to adam as a wife man and woman are united in the presence of god it is in god that they were united in the bond of love today in this modern world family life is facing separation from separation and disunity so many families are getting separated each day sanctity of marriage is overlooked because the wife and husband are not able to see each other along with god or in the presence of god saint joseph was broken by the news about mary to whom she was betrothed joseph was perplexed confused and decided to leave mary in secret however he was informed by god through the angel that mary is with jesus and jesus is in mary the moment joseph could see mary along with jesus he accepted her as his wife as commanded by the angel that is why we could say that the holy family is cemented in jesus only in jesus or with jesus a family can become a holy family for joseph the relationship with mary was grounded and rooted in jesus for mary the relationship with joseph was rooted and grounded in jesus this is the heart and nucleus of any family or any relationship we have to perceive the other with jesus or in a relationship with jesus when we fail to recognize christ's presence in the life partner like joseph and mary we will fail to love and live together any broken relationship can be healed when we begin to see the marital bond in relationship with christ marriage is sacrament because jesus presence is invisibly present therefore the other person is a sacrament for me who brings god's presence in my life we need to learn from the school of the holy family to perceive and see all relationships in god together with jesus a relationship will along with christ will never be broken therefore the wife has to see the husband along with jesus the husband has to see the wife along with jesus see jesus in the midst of their relationship the shepherds and the three wise men while searching for god they found him in the midst of a family relationship together with joseph and mary in that mutual unity and love in the history of the world for the first time they saw a god in person in a blessed family 
amidst their relationship and love they all witnessed god in the unity of the family the powerful presence of god can be felt and experienced in the mutual love and unity between husband and the wife it is there jesus is born it is in such a family that jesus will be born the shepherds and the three kings found god in the midst of the unity between joseph and mary secondly the angel gave a sign to the shepherds to recognize jesus in luke chapter 2 verse 12 you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lie in a manger this baby wrapped in bands of cloth is a sign and symbol of great humility they recognized a god in a most humble way hallelujah 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 in the old testament people of israel witnessed the presence of god by the manifestation of his power and might they saw god's power as one gives victory in war who manifested himself in the desert in cloud and pillar of fire they experienced the power of god in contrast we see a god in the manger in humility god's mighty power is hidden in the simplicity of manger all are running to a god in humility humility is foundational in any relationship family life or spiritual life every stream river and water fall always flow to a lower place and all the rivers on high are flowing into the sea which is in the low level the infant jesus who is humility itself dispenses his graces to the humble and lowly this was experienced by joseph and mary in their family life mary said in luke chapter 1 verse 47 to 48 my soul magnifies the lord for he has looked with the favor on the lowliness of his servant the peace joy love and hope of infant jesus can be experienced by those who humble themselves before god and others christmas gives us hope because we can experience love joy and peace with the arrival of jesus christ on the earth at bethlehem the reason is as st matthew tells us emmanuel is born for us what does it mean emmanuel Emmanuel means God is with us. The central message of Christmas is that in spite of all these difficulties of pandemic, lockdown and other sufferings we can still be joyful and fearless because we have God with us. The birth of Jesus as Emmanuel is connected with the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 7. It is very interesting to know the background of this prophecy. Judah was a small little kingdom. But Syria together with Israel 
declared war against Judah. King Ahaz and the people were terrified by it. Then the Lord through Isaiah spoke to King Ahaz and consoled him saying, Take heart, do not fear, let your heart not be faint. The Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the woman shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 4 and 14. He will bring victory to you. We know the story that the land of Israel and Syria were defeated and destroyed in the battle. The good Lord showed mercy and compassion to Ahaz and gave victory to little Judah. Today, in the same way as Ahaz, many of us may be living in fear, loneliness, in lack of peace and love. In this Christmas, as the Lord spoke to Ahaz through Prophet Isaiah, speak to us through Angel Gabriel. Don't be afraid. I am bringing the good news of great joy for all people. To you is born a Savior, the Messiah, the Lord. Luke chapter 2 verse 11. The meaning of the name Jesus is God who saves us. Jesus is a God of all in the history of the world. For the first time, Saint Joseph uttered the powerful name of Jesus as he was asked to name Jesus by God the Father himself through the angel. Therefore, this name of Jesus in this Christmas has to be on our lips. Father Paul Sullivan in his famous book, The Wonders of Holy Name, shares a heart-touching event in the history of the church. A devastating epidemic of plague broke out in Lisbon in 1432, thousands of men, women, and children of all classes were dead from the virus. The situation was more painful than the present pandemic of COVID-19. A venerable bishop, Monsignor Andre Dice, who lived in the convent or monastery of St. Dominic, Seeing that, the, seeing that the epidemic, far from diminishing, urged the unhappy people to call on the holy name of Jesus and to repeat, Jesus, Jesus, and write it on cards and keep those cards in your pockets and place the, place the under uh, place there under pillows, place them on your doors, but above all, constantly invoke, the, invoke with your lips and in your hearts this most powerful name. The people over the cards on their breasts or carried them in their pockets, kept under their sleeping pillows, the wonder of wonders took place. The sick got well. The dying arose from their agonies. The plague ceased and the city was delivered in a few days from the most awful scourge that it had ever visited. Portugal was freed from the dread sickness. In this corona, pandemic situation along with St. Joseph. Let us keep repeating and calling out the powerful name of Jesus. He has the power to heal us 
from sickness deliver us from all viruses and set us free from all bondages in today's gospel sakriya is praising such a god who rescues and brings victory to us christmas invites us to go to bethlehem that is to the altar and find jesus like the three astrologers and the shepherds we need to have a personal encounter with christ who is born for us it is such an encounter that will bring in us the four aspects of christian life hope joy love and peace as the advent candles symbolizes it is the encounter with christ that will change our sorrow into joy fear into hope divisions into peace in today's world people feel lonely isolation and depression the root reason is that god emmanuel is out of their life when god becomes the center of our life everything will be beautiful in paris the notre dame cathedral the stainless glass art the dome looks so beautiful when you visit you can see in the center christ around him angels then saints then people jesus shines in the center and the light spreads to everywhere this is what happens to us when christ is born in my heart when i accept him as savior of my life everything in me and around me will shine forth it will radiate joy and peace to others to my family members to the world around me because god emmanuel is with me this was the experience of a man possessed with the demon after having delivered by jesus he radiated christ joy by preaching about him this was the experience of a samaritan woman as she radiated the joy of emmanuel experience to all in her town today many people do not feel emmanuel god is with them because they have not given space for god in their heart christmas also remains as a painful news that the holy family did not get a place in the inn the inn is our heart to have emmanuel experience in our lives we need to give god space in our hearts the three kings who visited jesus opened their treasures and offered it all to jesus they were filled with joy as they gave space to jesus and gave themselves to jesus the shepherds who encountered jesus were filled with joy and peace because they gave space to jesus in their heart emmanuel god is with us however we need to be with him to have peace joy and hope in life we need to give space for god mary the mother of jesus gave space for jesus not only in her womb but in her heart too saint joseph gave space to god in his heart christmas invites us to give space to god in our hearts in our family so that we will have an emmanuel experience 
when we have emmanuel experience we will not live in fear loneliness sorrow depression fear and hatred our heart will become streams of living water living water of joy peace hope and love our heart is the crib where he is to be born he is born not in a candlish catalyst shed but in the love of your heart god bless you all wish you a happy christmas